Okay, so it's an insanely beautiful day where I am. It is 62 degrees in the middle of January, actually at the end of January. So I decided I'm gonna take advantage of the weather and get in the garage and redo this old dresser that I painted, I think when I was like 15 or 16. So yeah, it's time to redo it because it's a mess. So today you get to see how I sand down and paint and, and spray paint a dresser with only five fingers. Obviously I was into dark colors, old blood, like dry blood colored dresser. So I'm gonna brighten it up and I'm going to make it a little bit like an ivory with a black top and I think it'll look nice. I'm going to begin by taking the hardware off the drawers, which I am replacing as well because that stuff is way old, I think, I, I think from the 80s. One down. Of course, this is gonna take me a little longer than a two-handed person, but that's the thing, patience. That's all the hardware. Okay, now I'm throwing these away because they're worthless. So I'm gonna start by sanding the top because that's the easiest part, and then I leave the drawers in while I sand because I just feel like it's easier than having to hold and sand at the same time while sitting on the ground or something. When this thing kind of slows down, it makes kind of Yeti sounds. <laughs> that was really dumb. Whew. For those of you who are going to redo some furniture and use a sander, I would recommend wearing a mask because I am breathing in some dust. Okay. Now, sanding sponge for all the little crevices, all the little nooks and crannies. Ooh, I think I have worn out this sponge already. Probably gonna need a few more. I had to move to paper, which means that this is gonna take a little longer than expected. Sweet, so I've worn this little thing out. I have the, uh, the drawers and the bulk of the dresser sanded. Now I'm gonna take the drawers out and do the last few bits and then I'll be ready to spray paint. Woo, okay, I'm done sanding. That took a while and um, I got dirty. Oh, I got it on my hat. Oh well. Okay, now I gotta wipe it down so that it's ready to be spray painted. There is a dent right here that looks exactly like the state of Alaska. I mean, it really does. Okay, it is getting dark outside, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish this today, but I'm gonna try to get the primer on. So I'm gonna put down the drop cloth on the table and get started. This is not a five finger task, by the way, guys. Jeez, this is taking forever. How do you open this stuff? Ah, I think I got it. Don't fly off. It's kinda windy today. Drawer number one. Wow, so I actually had to move the camera up to show you this stuff. This stuff is awesome. I just sprayed that drawer down and primed it in like under a minute. So yeah, kills. Look at this thing. This was like, you know, dark red a minute ago. Okay, wow, that was a lot of work. And actually it's the next day because I ran out of daylight and I ran out of energy, but I got all 
this done. All the drawers are primed and they're ready for the gloss ivory color that I'm gonna spray on the drawers and the main body of the dresser. The top I'm gonna do like a matte black, but I'm gonna start with this, so here we go. Oh, supposedly you're supposed to shake this stuff for like two minutes. Okay, got the main part of the dresser done. I'm lightheaded, I'm almost out of paint. Actually, I have one more can, so we're good. Now I'm gonna do the drawers. Oh, and by the way, I just turned around, after I told you I was gonna paint the top of the dresser black, I turned around and started painting it with this because, because I don't know why. Classic Abby. That can's done. Okay. I now have the ivory color covered over all the drawers and the dresser. And now I'm gonna tape the top around the bottom, the base of it, so that when I spray paint the um, black on, it's not gonna get all over the rest of the dresser. Oh yeah, and I had to put on this shirt because it was getting a little cold. It's not as warm as it was yesterday and it's raining, but we're doing it. I think my paw works as a perfect little spool for tape. Okay, here we go. Black. Say a prayer for me, cause uh, I'm scared of getting it on the ivory. Not too bad. Actually, that's gonna look pretty cool, I think, when I'm all done with it. Okay, well, I've done some touch-ups, and now I'm going to just wait for it to dry and see how it turns out. I dripped, I had to spray over, I had to wipe it, that didn't work out well. Sprayed over again, so uh, fingers crossed, it's gonna be halfway decent looking at the end. So I'm gonna go get some more hardware. So when I get back and everything is dry, I will show you the finished product. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And I hope you get a chance to check out the rest of my channel. And of course, as always, don't forget to subscribe.